speaking of capture cards and whatnot, shout out to the person at Best Buy, and I was like 14, trying to start my own Let's Play channel, and I asked them if I could buy a capture card, and the old lady said, what's that? And I said, it's a thing to capture your video game stuff. You like, I explained it to her, and she laughed at me and said that doesn't exist. <laughs> Session um, two of Cyber Sleuth. What were we supposed to do? Uh, oh, we gotta go around Eden. Oh, that's right. Okay, yeah. We went to Shinjuku last time for a minute. We did. I think. <laughs> yeah, Shin we went to Shinjuku for just a wee bit. Nice. No, it's back to Eden. Oh Jesus! Oh yeah, I remember this. No. No. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, what happened? I, I kept pressing the wrong button. I've been disconnected from the stream. Oh, you have? Apparently. Oh, hold on. <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. I think it's because I, I tried to put it in on 30 frames per second instead of 15 like last time. Oh, was it on 15 frames a second? Yeah, well, I'll just go back to 15 and maybe Yeah, they'll... it's fine. As long as I can see what's happening, that's that's all that matters. Can you see it now? Yeah, we're good. So basically, Ryota just sent his text. He was like, you want to go hang out? And I said, do your homework. <laughs> and then this chick won't shut up about Jimmy Ken. Fucking so I'm Jimmy busy. Ken. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm busy, sorry. Sorry, I'm in the digital world right now. I can't. Like, is Eden the digital world, or is it more like the network in the new season of the anime? Um, it's kind of like, um, I don't know. You ever see Summer Wars? No. Oh, you should. It's like the Digimon movie, but not as good. I know, people keep being like, like when that when my New Year's post blew up and everyone was like, uh, oh, you might want to move the mouse off screen, I can see it. Oh, might be. <laughs> I don't know if that'll show up in your recording or not. Oh, wait, but... you want me to just, like, just... Constantly keep it over our main character's face. That one guy was really bothered by her hair, so that's why I put on this outfit. <laughs> yeah, that one person. Shout out to that guy. <laughs> With the side ponytail. Didn't like it. Uh, yeah. yeah, when my Digimon the movie New Year's posted well, a bunch of people in the past were like, this looks like Summer Wars, and then a bunch of other people were like, well, that's because it's the same people, but afterwards. And everyone was like, oh, okay, then. Yeah, it's it's the, literally like if you look at the plot, it's like oh, some guy makes a virus with good intentions, but then the virus gets stronger. The more things he eats, he gets stronger. <laughs> and um, same same studio, same animators. Uh, but uh, the plot is weird. Money for old rope. Isn't that like a is there a, is there a rabbit or am I thinking of the wrong thing? Yeah, there's a rabbit. Okay. The the like one of one of the main characters. Uh, it's it's one of those movies where it's like, is one person is this the main character or is that the main character? Mm. But one of the main characters, her cousins, like Avatar, is that bunny person, and they were known as like the number one fighter in whatever it was called. For sure, anime and rabbits. Um, not good. Oh, cutscene. Uh, I know it's not. It's just no, a little introduction. Not. Um. After Kyrie's voice, oh yeah, it all comes together. Kyrie's voice actor voices the rabbit in B Stars, or whatever that's, that's called. That's true. And she's like horny and shit, and I'm just like, man, <laughs> I can't be doing this right now. That makes me wa that. Uh, I didn't watch that show because I just, uh, contrary to popular belief, um, that's just not my cup of tea. <laughs> Uh, but I, I watched a clip of it after hearing that Kari was the voice actress for the bunny. And, um, yeah, I don't like hearing Kari say the only thing that makes me feel alive is the carnal pleasure of flesh. Yeah, it's not <laughs> so, great. Something like that. Like, Kari and not, like, hot off the back of her being Chirithi in Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. I'm just like, could we not? Could we hire anyone else? And then that's why when people said that Kari couldn't come back for Kazuna because she doesn't do voice acting anymore, I'm like, if she can be a horny bunny, she can be Kari. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> She's like you in guys bed, just... and her husband's like, if you can be a horny bunny, you can be Kari. Now get up. Get out of here. 
But we, I mean, they didn't ask Matt's voice actor to come back. They were just like, we got Ty, we got Agumon, and of course Jeff Nimoy is like, hey, it's me. <laughs> Yeah, read him on styling with the front flips. Dude, he's awesome. I definitely prefer I, him to Doraemon. Absolutely. I I, uh, I wrote a fan fiction way back when where I had a Ryudamon as a partner. Nice. And um, my friend had a Doraemon, and I always made fun of him. Because he <laughs> liked Doraemon. I think the main reason I just got put off so off Doraemon and Ryudamon is that, like, it's... It's the ta it's the Digimon everyone's always like, well if I had a partner, I'd have a Dorumon or it's like, okay, just just say you haven't actually re watched Ev X Evolution, but you wish they were your partners and go. Right. They See, that's why I'm like I I I wish I had a different favorite Digimon, you know, because I want to be that cool person whose Digimon favorite Digimon is like a lesser known one. Right. But I just I look at Flame Dramon and I'm like, what's not to love? I mean, they're partners for a reason, you know. Like the coolest ones get put front and center. Exactly. I, I've I've gone back. I used to hate Pikachu mm -hmm. because you know, like it's popular, and I hate popular things. But now I love Pikachu because it's just a cute little electric rat. It's great. I think the only thing I wish is that we got that. Uh, third evolution for it that was supposed to be in, like, Kanto or Johto, Gorochu. Oh, yeah, same. Um, that big boy. But I think that's, like, half the reason why a lot of those, like, monster shows that came out for a while in the sort of wake of Pokemon, not necessarily that they came out at the same because of Pokemon, but they got dubbed because of Pokemon. Um, we uh, accidentally got a pretty solid team here, one of each type. Oh, nice. Look at that. And different elements Comple as well. Exactly. Completely unintentional. Nice. Yeah, whatever. Um, what but like, I feel like Monster Rancher, like, the only thing they really had was the penguin. And I feel like maybe that's why it didn't stick around, because it didn't have like a really decent mascot. Kids get freaked out by the eye guy. Yeah, I've I tried so many times to play Monster Rancher and I just couldn't get into it. Mm -hmm. I used to watch the show. I didn't really know, but I don't know if the games did like at all well in the UK. But the show did quite well for like a season or whatever. Okay, I thought you would battle us. I I do think this game needs more like tamer battles. Like, I'm I'm glad that they're not like everywhere like in Pokemon. But it would be nice just to switch it up if they were just some like random NPCs that was. Yeah, battling, I think know? it would be good if you could, cause like, especially if they went maybe with them at Scannable or whatever. So like it gives you an idea of some flushes out the Digimon that you can encounter, but without making it so broken that you could like you know scan. They could have something a little bit more unique and kind of dot those around. Exactly. So you can be like, "What? I want that one. Give me that one. <laughs> I want to get there eventually." And then when you're like evolving your Digimon, and that's the one that isn't uh, silhouetted out, you're like, "That's the god." Yeah, that would be cool. I think also like um, maybe it does get there. I don't know. I mean, I'm like halfway into the game on my own LP. I'll well, run through it. I think it could also benefit from uh, like Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Does it? where you'll go into one of the dungeons for like a main purpose and whatever you're in the dungeon for is at the end of the dungeon but then when you're in the dungeon there's like a couple of little things you could do and it doesn't it has happened in this game i'm pretty sure but it doesn't happen as often as i'd like like i'd like to go into like kowloon level two and do my main quest there but rather than having to like do it as a sub quest off the board someone just go hey like if you find a you know chip in here can i have it or whatever yeah that would be sick uh, look at this dude stunted up with a tan. Mode, <laughs> he honestly. thinks he's so cool. <laughs> Check this dude out. I, I, we get, I give up. Yeah, dude. Bye. There's no way. How could you be a Tanamon? Cease and also desist. Let me borrow a hot second here. What? <laughs> borrow a hot second? Alright, fair enough. Whatever uh, makes you happy, Chief. I, I, every time I replay this game, I'm disappointed because I think we're about to fight this guy. And you just show him the mask and he leaves. Yeah... He's like, oh, never mind, I'm sorry. Because you got a cool mask. Shut up. <laughs> Not you, Arata. <laughs> I don't care. No, it's okay, I'll take it, it's fine. <laughs> we've got Topaz. Oh, oh shit. we're gonna be so rich. Bro, we're gonna make so much money. It's probably gonna give us like 600. Uh, is it called Bit in this game? Yen. Yen, okay. They just call it straight Yen. I guess because it's physical currency rather than... 
stuff. I guess you well, is there any are there any stores in like the digital world in this game? There are, yeah. But mm -hmm. I mean I guess you know it's Eden, so you just Oh yeah, true. Use physical money. I don't think we're supposed to go this way, but who knows there Yeah, I was right, there's a goodie. Gotta explore every corner. For the attack attachments. Exactly. I didn't use these attachments the entire first time I played this game. <laughs> Oh, I did you, Mom. We're just naked. Oh. So I don't think I've ever got and, and any. And they also didn't have any equipment. What? <laughs> oh. I don't think I ever got any of the cosmetics, but like, uh, do they uh, actually in, uh, reflect in the field? Uh, the equipment, yes, but not the accessories. No. Ah, okay. And the the original release of Cyber Sleuth did not have the uh, accessories. Makes sense. And in Hacker's Memory, you could only get. I don't know if it's just because I never did the online stuff because I didn't have PlayStation Now, but all I ever got in uh, Hacker's Memory was the first item they give you, which is just the goggles of the pro tag from this game. Oh, okay. But if you uh, if you beat this game, if you beat uh, Cyber Sleuth on the complete edition and start Hacker's Memory, they give you uh, the goggles, the golden goggles, and then the uh, goggles from Hacker's Memory nice. as well. I was, so I, I was upset they cut out a Victory Uchida uh, thing for Agumon. Oh, yeah? In the uh, Japanese version of the game, uh, the original release, I don't know if they put it in the complete edition, but you could get an Agumon dressed up as Tai. What? Yeah, but sadly, it did. if you digivolved it, it just looked, it, it just looked like a normal Greymon. But... <laughs> They did not. For some reason, they were like, Americans don't need this. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to steal that off you. Because I'm making a video on Digimon things that never left Japan. Uh... And if I'm wrong, uh, well, I don't. I mean, after today, man, I don't even know anything anymore. <laughs> oh my that God, are we talking about Darkmon? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I need to. I'm just gonna rewatch that whole movie. I swear, one character in there probably says Darsmon, and that's what six-year-old me was like. That's the one. That's the name. What I liked about that was not like it's like it's totally like a understandable thing to either think or prefer it or whatever. But it was the like how how confident you were and like with your whole chest you were like it's not Darkmon, and then I, like every I I single was. line. Every single person, oh, it's Joan Dar. <laughs> uh, real quick, uh, this guy talks with a lisp, or like a, I don't. Oh, oh, rapper. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, oh rapper. Rip uh, those. Oh. Outsiders in the yet food. Oh, rip the outsiders apart. They say food in Zach's own territory. Or, nah, I I'll rip. But I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the. <laughs> Obi Adobe to do. <laughs> the first Digimon Tamer with learning difficulties. <laughs> oh, okay, that's, that's okay. Um. <laughs> but listen, man, I never, I never like to be all preachy, and then the one moment I decide to be preachy because I just heard Darkmon right. so much. I think that's Turns what out made it. I'm the idiot. <laughs> it's, it's not the number one where you're like, you know, you normally you're quite sort of reserved. You're like, oh well, yeah. Some people, you might call it, you know, uh, Omnimon or uh, Mega Mon, but I prefer Omnimon. You were like full on like reminder, <laughs> reminder. <laughs> so I uh, took my L. Let that be known. I took it. I mean, I'm proud of you. You know, the second that the evidence was, uh, you, the, it was like the initial, the initial like, now nah, fuck you <laughs> and then the evidence started mounting <laughs> up, and you were like, yeah, no, if I do. <laughs> I'm I'm still proud of Joan D's nuts. Joan D's nuts is, is really solid. <laughs> I was about to if I was right, I had a response ready, but I needed to check my check my sources to make myself not look like an idiot even more. I was gonna say you can ratio me all you want, Karn, but I'm still right. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, that was a sign of respect. Cause did I quote tweet you? No, I replied to exactly. you exactly. <laughs> Thank you, like a like a like a real friend. Yeah. I'll clown on you, but I'm gonna do it civilly. I'm not gonna be like, yo, look at this fucking idiot. See, I have to quote tweet you because I'm not as famous as you. So <laughs> I, need, I need the I need the clout. Because <laughs> you're mean. You feel different. I am. I am just mean. That is true. I did consider somebody. 
Somebody once said that um, I was the biggest problem in the tokusatsu community because I like to start fights. <laughs> you know, you know why they said that. Why? I had the audacity, the audacity, to say that Baron was Gaim's secondary writer. <laughs> I didn't even like, I wasn't even arguing. I wasn't even, I just said, I just said that Baron was kind of secondary writer. And then I, I'm a bully. Yeah. I'm a bully now. That's why I had to get out of that Toki shit, man. Because like, I started realizing that so many of like the things that people were taking super seriously would always boil down to someone being like, like me being like, oh, I think Gates Majesty or whatever the fuck it's called looks like a McDonald's suit. And rather than, like, most of us, even if we disagree, we'll have, like, you know, like, we'll have a banter conversation about it. Like, it'll be a bit fiery, but it's always a joke. And then most of those motherfuckers will be like, I can't believe you say something. This is this is a devastatingly bad take. And it's like, no, it's, a, uh, it's what we like to call in the industry an opinion duck. <laughs> exactly, my guy. Or, um, me and you, we have a, a difference when it comes to uh, the opinion about a uh, certain Monbo Mon. Man, yeah, we sure do, huh? We <laughs> listen, sure listen, do. Listen, it's not a bad Digimon in isolation. The reason it sucks is there's a crest of light evolution, armor evolution for Patamon. That's, that's why I hate it. Yes, that's why I hate it. Oh, fair enough. It's not. I mean, I it's not like fucking it, but... sense. Uh, fucking Got like a Joe one or anything. Reliability. Yeah, reliability. It's a crest of light Digivolution for Patamon. <laughs> I think, hold on, I need to double check that one. It's definitely not reliability though. Uh, Mambo number five. Man it's Mephisto. Mephisto POS. Yo, yanking my chain, showing up here like this. <laughs> yeah, Digi Egg of Light from Patamon. <laughs> That's alright. You see what I mean? Like, it's not a bad design by itself, but whenever I think of, like, <laughs> yo, Patamon digivolving with Kari's digi egg, this is gonna be off the chain. That's what I need. I need somebody. I need. If there's, like, a, there's a really talented animator out there, um, for, completely for free, I just need you to. Um, spoilers for the Digimon anime. Um, I need you to take that scene. Where uh, Patamon has that big <laughs> moment about fighting, even though the Patamon can't become Angemon anymore, and just replace that <laughs> epic scene with Pegasusmon, but with Mambomon, and TK just <laughs> rides on top of Mambomon. And because it's a fish on land, it's just like. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So, um, when I did I uh, my very short-lived uh, Nuzlocke run of uh, Hacker's Memory, you fight, in, you fight this boss in that game as well, mm -hmm. I was uh, very worried because I think it's in this game, if I'm correct, he's actually, like, surprisingly difficult, so I'm yeah. going with this one. Um, but one of my Digimon had an instant kill move, and I cut off the, like, 5% chance. <laughs> and it happened right when I said, oh, I don't think this guy can ki get killed by insta-kill moves. <laughs> That's yeah, wonderful. This, this one, he's, he's not, like, super difficult, but right. definitely if you, uh, just, like, rush, and you don't, like, get at least a couple of rookies. Yeah, I think it was hard. only, like, him and the first Jim McKen fight that I actually went oh shit okay right gotta engage brain here yeah the the like wild battles are not very hard and then once you get to a boss battle it's like oh <laughs> oh jeez oh man uh how much would heavy strike do in comparison oh that's actually better than our special attack cool nice kagakurasha Trying to play this smart. I believe in you. Uh, yeah, just Wol Wolken, Wolken the Palm. I think it's like Volka because of German. Oh, you know, that makes more sense. So when I was first playing, I was like, yo, Woke Napalm. <laughs> That's what I called it for the longest time, too, until someone outed me when I was streaming it. Yo, this Napalm really respects its friend's pronouns because it's a good person. <laughs> exactly. Shout outs to the Woke Napalm. <laughs> Oh, this could be bad. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. 
Uh, oh, we do have HP spray. Let's heal everybody up real quick. <clears throat> I'm so stingy oh, with healing items, man. Ah, I thought we could get a combo off. I don't think I've ever managed to get a three-way combo in this game. Never? I don't think so. I've got oh, a dude, bunch of two ways, but... It's awesome when you get a three-way combo with the special attacks, because it's just one right after another. It so, just looks so good. Mm. I got a four-way combo off once, because somebody was a... Uh, uh, I had a teammate in the party. Yeah, I think I've, like, two-way... Or maybe I've three-way comboed with a teammate, but I don't think I've ever three-way comboed my own team. I just never seem to be able to do it. You've never three-wayed? I've, I, listen, man, I've never ridden the tricycle. Ah, uh, see, I... I I also have never taken a trip to France. Yeah, well, if you're gonna, you know, ice skate uphill, you gotta be prepared for a little bit. <laughs> Did we talk about this last time? Yeah. <laughs> it was Does almost a like know? little preview. I do for each episode. I did like a little stinger at the start of the episode. Uh, although the one for the first part doesn't actually feature in the episode because it was our preamble. Because like I didn't want to uh. include it because. YouTube will, like, bury you in the algorithm if you say, like, fucking come in the first, like, minute and a half of a video. And, like, yeah. literally the whole opening of that is me just going, like, I don't want to put a dildo up my ass in a restaurant. <laughs> I, I was, when I first watched that, because I was supremely tired when we recorded that, but I, I, I didn't know I was tired. So when I was rewatching, and I was like, wow, I remember, like, none of this. Where did that come from? <laughs> We need to get you into a fugue state so that you're powerless to talk about. Uh, to stop me from talking about restaurant dildos. You know what? Fair enough. I mean, I wouldn't stop you either way. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Also, I mean, it, it's not going to make any difference on. Well, it might make a difference on the audience side, I guess. Uh, but we changed some audio settings, and I feel like it's working a lot better this session. Absolutely. I'm not uh, talking over you as much on X or Bent. Yeah, same with you. I think I think it's just because like that echo cancelling that Discord does is great if people are blaring out of their headphones. But if you've got headphones, you don't need it. Do you, you ever been in like a group call and like you want to be nice, but there's somebody there who like you can hear everybody else's voice mm -hmm. come from their microphone and it's like echoing and it's bothering you. But yeah. you don't want to be the person that says, please, for the love of God, fix your microphone or I'm going to have a panic attack. The worst ones are when I'm, like, streaming a game and I'm, like, really up on trying to keep my streams, like, not, like, you know, next level professional, but I like, like, good audio and stuff. And then someone will, like, jump into Among Us and I can, like, hear their cats in the background and, like, their parents going, like, take the fucking trash out! <laughs> I'm just like, oh, God. <laughs> it's It's tough. It's like, I don't want to be an asshole, like, you know, most people don't give a fuck about that kind of thing, but then I just get stuck in a call with someone, and I'm like, this person's really nice, but Jesus fucking Christ, buy some headphones and a microphone. <laughs> yeah, for real. They're not, that, they're not that expensive anymore. Right. Oh my god, this... Maybe just because I'm, I'm, I'm older, and I have money now, but like... I look at things, I'm like, why didn't I buy this when I was a kid? This is so cheap. There's so many. I think what I consider cheap has, like, gone up with not having, like, allowance and actually having money. But, yeah, exactly. it's like, so there's, I don't, but things have definitely come down in price. Like I was saying, that £10 uh, capture unit thing that a few of us have been getting, like, that would have been an absolute fucking dream to like 10 year old well, like 14 year old Carney was trying to do like let's plays and stuff and was trying to work out ways to like record off of dvd player or whatever and like obs in recent years has made let's plays and stuff way easier because before you had to manually combine everything in post yeah uh speaking of capture cards and whatnot shout out to the person at best buy and i was like 14 trying to start my own let's play channel and I asked them if I could buy a capture card, and the old lady said, what's that? And I said, it's a thing to capture your video game stuff. You like, I explained it to her, and she laughed at me and said, that doesn't exist. <laughs> so, shoutouts to you, Best Buy lady. <laughs> I love the idea of, like, you could have been, like, this mad famous Let's Player, and a woman in Best Buy. I could have, but this... <laughs> Doris from Best Buy, stop me. <laughs> oh, shit, that's I great. Have, I 
I don't think I've ever in my life had a good experience at Best Buy. I don't know if they have Best Buys across the pond. They don't. I've been into a couple of lucky. Yeah. We have a similar store, which is usually okay. But when I actually know I, it's a very similar store. And I think about it, um, which is Curry's PC World. And I went in when I was working for the government as a secret agent. Um, uh -huh. and, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna get a laptop. Uh, and she was, first of all, she thought Emily was my girlfriend. And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> and then she kept telling me that like, I can't remember which antivirus it was, but like an antivirus that I've used, I'd used for a while at that point. She's like, oh, that's no good. That gives you viruses. You want to buy the Norton. And I'm like, I don't think I do. <laughs> Yeah, no, you definitely don't. I know a lot about computers, lady. <laughs> I don't think I'm good. I, I hate, I hate when you know exactly what you want at an electronics store, and they keep trying to tell you that's not what you want. Right. Well, I mean, like, I, I guess buying, they. Sorry, one. Uh, I was just because I I bought my computer that I'm using now at Best Buy, and I knew exactly what I wanted because in my price range, and it had it could do exactly what I wanted. And this person kept trying to get me to upgrade for like another like six hundred dollars, and I'm like, dude, give me my computer. And he almost sold me the wrong one for the same price. He oh gave me, God. I don't know what RAM my thing has right now, but he tried to sell me one for less with more for for the same price. And I was like, this is the wrong RAM, my guy. <laughs> and he goes, no, no, this is the right one. And then luckily I put my foot down, and I was like. Can I get someone else to help me, please? Wow. I didn't like being that person, but no, it was like getting it, on my I nerves. I understand it. Though. Like, this thing is like so, like, oh, this is going to make me sound like an asshole, but I'm going to say it. Most of the time, customers are the fucking idiots in stores, right? But mm. sometimes there are people who work at stores that have got no fucking business being in that job. <laughs> Exactly. And it's a minority, uh, and I'm not trying to, like, I'm not slagging off workers or anything. It's just, fuck me, sometimes you go to a shop. Like, like I say, because we have anxiety, we research every possible eventuality. Also, we're poor, so we have exactly this amount of money to spend. Exactly. That's why I'm, I'm like, I never go shopping unless I know exactly what I want. There's some times where I'm like, if I'm out, I'm like, oh, take a look around. But if I'm going shopping, I know what I want. Right. Exactly. I forgot to give this guy a name. Oh. Hmm. It's a good question. I think I named Draco Malfoy, right? So I think it's your turn. Oh, God. I, I definitely made a typo here, but can't see it. So whatever this is, we're keeping it. Let's make that the rule from now on. All right. Cool. Ben and Jerry. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it's just casual, you know? They're Ben and Jerry ben and at Jerry. work, but when, you know, it's just Ben and Jerry. You know, they're just chilling just out. Ben and Jerry. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll do a little plot update for anyone who cares. Um, basically, you, turns out Yuko is actually the daughter of the Kamishiro Enterprises. Wow. Who could have seen that who'd coming? Who thunk? Uh, and the guy that she helped us find was not actually kidnapped. He just had his account stolen. Um, and that, that wasn't her dad. And at first thought, you might be like, wow, what a useless side quest. But it, it's important. Like, yeah, kinda. it comes up. <laughs> um, not like, not, don't don't get me wrong. There's a thousand useless side quests in this game. <laughs> that Just luckily enough, that was not one of them. That one was largely useful. With a little bit of useless. Um, ben and Jerry's are like probably the most famous... Like, like, there's a lot of brands that aren't actually real people anymore, or they're dead, right? Yeah. Ben and Jerry are, like, real people who are still alive. Do you know what they look like? No. No one does. And yet, they're, like, the ice... Yeah, they are the ice cream men. That is true. They are... Uh, when I think ice cream, I think of, uh... The cheap... The cheap... Cheapest one at the <laughs> store. <laughs> and then Ben and Jerry's. Right. And it's like, they do a lot of, like, humanitarian stuff as well. So I figure I must have seen their faces, but, like, I don't even know what ethnicity they are. No, I couldn't tell know, you. For all we know, Ben and Jerry could be white. 
I don't think white people should be making ice cream. I don't. I think it's fucked up. I if I was to go on a soapbox, I think I would say overall, I think it's fucked up that white people are allowed to make ice cream. <laughs> I'll just say, I'll just say this. My my perfect evidence for why white people should make ice cream is: Did you see that guy on TikTok who like made ice cream but like made it sexy? Oh no, I didn't. C consider yourself lucky. <laughs> it's. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> Do you like fuck the ice cream? No, he just like 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 does this like a, like leans into it and he, like does a lot of like shoulder movements and like looks right into the camera and he's like, this one's for the ladies. He's Australian. Oh as well. god! Oh, and he's just so like, I, can confirm. I'll show you sometime. Ben and Jerry are just like kind looking old white hippies. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, they're hippies mm -hmm. though. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, I can tell you another reason why white people shouldn't be allowed to make ice cream. Uh, in the UK, uh, they did a whole marketing thing with Heinz where they made fucking mayonnaise ice cream. Oh, don't tell me that. Yeah, and I don't think America has solid cream, but they had a solid cream ice cream as well. <laughs> solid cream's <laughs> disgusting. It's like... I don't even know how to begin to... Like, I'm, trying to I'm going to have to Google, like... American equivalent of solid cream. American. Did you ever, uh, did you ever watch Nathan for you? No, people keep telling me though. I should watch it. Oh, you would, you would love that show. It's amazing. But, uh, b basic premise for anyone who hasn't seen it is it's a guy who, uh, people hire him to help bring business to their place. And he does so, but he does it in like the weirdest ways possible. He knows he's messing with people, but they don't know that he's messing with them. Yeah. Um, but the like first episode, I think, is uh, an ice cream shop, and he brings business to this ice cream shop by making a poop flavored ice cream, <laughs> and it works. Oh like, yeah! People come to try the poop flavored ice cream. Old press is good press, I guess. 